This is the Game Heroes Podcast Live, the only podcast that asks, whatever happened to the street games? You remember those, like, NBA Street, FIFA Street? I loved those games. Those were awesome. Man, I was thinking about the other day, dude. NBA Street, I played the crap out of that game. Yeah, man. It was like a a grown-up NBA jam. For sure. Those were good. Those were the, it was like EA Big, was, that's what they were developed under? Those are gone now. That sucks. Um, They need to bring those back. They do. Uh, and you, <laughs> uh, the Game Heroes podcast featuring Handsome Tom and his Duke Nukem Forever DLC, 8-Bit Mickey and his Odd World, and I'll be here. Ooh. This is episode number seven. It's April 3rd, 2024, and on this date, 32 years ago, Breath of Fire was released on the Super NES, and also 10 years ago, Rusty's Real Deal Baseball was on the uh, 3DS. Do you guys know this game? It's a great game. I do not know Rusty's. I do not. Rusty's real, real deal baseball. baseball. It's real Rusty deal baseball. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully everybody can hear me now. I turned it up. Oh, you guys are you guys are quiet. Oh, hold on. No, just me. But I I, I turned myself up, so they should be able to hear me. Oh, I have my mic close to me, so I should. Yeah. Uh, no, bad pants. I'm ready to go. Maintain a constant volume. We got a ton of stuff going on. <laughs> um, good okay. Good. Uh, so let's bring that kind of energy into today's show. Speaking of, on today's show, we have the results of last week's draft. A rundown of all the April Fool's pranks from earlier this week, an episode of Jared's Audio Dungeon. And of course, we'll have the Trisource News with Handsome Tom, this week's classic commercials, this week's hero and villain, and for the first time, a new segment, the Game Heroes Team Up, uh, where we're going to choose our video game presidential cabinet. If you're watching on YouTube, please make sure you're subscribed to drop us a like on this video. It really helps us out a lot. And tell us in the comments, what was the best April Fool's prank this year or ever? I don't know. Uh, be sure to join our growing Discord to be part of the show. And, of course, find us on Twitch where we're streaming ne- nearly every single day. I am, of course, Classy Man Jared. Uh, so without further ado, let's jump right into Video Game Roundup. Starting with that good-looking old-school gamer, what you got for me, Handsome Tom? Um, all right, we got a ton of stuff. So I, I you, so many things you just said I can go off on. Um, <laughs> so uh, best April Fool's Day prank. Uh, Mickey, were you there for the uh, the Coca Cola prank? That might have been before your time. That was before your time. So yeah, no. Uh, super. I'll make it quick. Um, there was I probably said this before. These Coke cans. I don't know if you guys remember the promotion today, but the top would pop off, and there'd be another top underneath, and it'd say you won a million dollars. So, myself, you don't remember that promotion? They're like, we popped the top oh, off. Oh, I might. Mu- like a little I, I, I you I might vaguely remember it, but that's about it. So, I uh, worked for marketing for Coca-Cola. Guess who had one of the experimental cans to put in someone's fridge? <laughs> so, my April Fool's Day joke was, of course, you won a million dollars to pop the top, and it was just an April Fool's Day joke. It was a good one, though. That's messed up, dude. Well, it, it, it was messed up. Um, so, uh, okay, the uh, Princess Peach, we're almost done. Um, I don't recommend buying it until it's like 20 bucks. It's not that fun. Just because there's no challenge, just one button, you kind of move around. Obviously, my daughter's kind of over it. She likes the dresses. She likes, you know, some of the what they the characters play in, but there's just not a, enough substance to the game. Um, hey, uh, real quick, dude, is yeah. my mic better? Mickey's my using... Audio. I hope it's better. Uh, <laughs> I input. No, that's an input. Uh, here it is. There it Technical is. difficulties. Well, let me keep going. I think they can hear me. So, a um, couple of things going on. Uh, Call of Duty uh, updated this week. I got Snoop Dogg. I don't know if anybody cares about <laughs> Call of Duty anymore. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, one of them's actually a dog face that's with Snoop Dogg's body, and the other one's actually Snoop Dogg. Um, so, so his play voice acting is. Snoop. I, I am currently Snoop Dogg as my okay. character in Call of Duty. Okay. So, uh, you know, last couple of years I've skipped Call of Duties, and um, now that I'm starting to play it again, they're really cycling through maps a lot faster, and I'm really loving that. Um, so, I, you know, I felt like it was kind of stale. So, you know, the new seasons, changing up maps, changing up, even though there's some regurgitated ones, it's still... Um, it's holding my attention. And then Diablo. So, Jared, I know you played through it. So, yeah. Perfect Liz and I are playing Diablo now. That's all we want to think about with our, our time. Nice. <laughs> Since it's on Game Pass. Um, and... Uh, 
it, it's not it's it's pretty fun i mean if you like diablo it's it's diablo like i i'm not sure i'm only like a level 20 or no you're 30 now so i'm not that far into the game because i know there's like a bunch of different realms yeah and stuff and well i stopped so... i stopped before the the seasons started but okay. um i'm curious because i don't know what really what the difference is but in that in three in Diablo four and three, but for some reason I just didn't have like in three, I just wanted to keep making new characters and keep getting in game stuff, but it's the in game stuff's not quite there. At least it wasn't when I played last. So yeah, yeah. I'm curious how, how it's shaping up. Man, I always have a hard time because I'll get this legendary item. And then like a few minutes later I get an item that's better than my legendary item. And I'm like, <laughs> what the hell is the point? I mean, I know it's there's hard, gonna be yeah. some extra stuff. But it's just rough because I'm like, do I switch? Do I stay with legendary? Do I anyway? You know, it gets a little complicated, which is is good and bad. Sure. Um. So. Um, well, I'm glad yeah, y'all are been, enjoying that. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I've been playing that. So, that 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 is the gist of my video games. Uh, Zedric, I have not played Helldivers two yet, but uh, it looks super fun. Um, yeah, we do need to play it. Oh, yeah, speaking yeah, of which, I might have a copy of a unreleased Super Nintendo Steven Seagal game that I want to play. So <laughs> that's the sentence I never thought yeah, I'd hear. It's super. No, <laughs> I know, but uh, I I found a copy, and uh, you know, so I can emulate it, obviously, because it never came out. So that's going to be on on one of our upcoming streams. <laughs> An unreleased Super Nintendo Steven Seagal game, so I'm kind of excited about that. I'm I'm sure it's terrible, but we'll see. Is it for a movie, or is it just like? <laughs> no, it's like uh, now I can't think of the name of it. Um, let me look up the name was. Well, Mickey catches okay. this up with. Yeah, really in that quick. case, let's throw it to the hot tie guy himself. Which got for me eight bit Mickey. I'm sorry, I forgot the applause, you guys. I can't believe I forgot the applause. No. Did you used to play applause sound effects? I can't. Yeah, I've never heard. Of course, it. I do. On. All right, oh I, uh, Jared, it's called uh, Steven Seagal, The Final Option. And I think it's just <laughs> oh, a, awesome. a mix of all of his stuff. So we're, That sounds that, amazing. That is that is on my list of things to stream. Um, I know it's super random, but I'm going to have fun with it. I've never played it. Oh, Zidrick says he's played it, and he says it's amazing. It's legendary. Good. Well, I'm excited then. So we will be playing through, uh, of course, the Steven Seagal game. Awesome. Uh Okay. Yeah, no, what I've been doing this week is uh or gaming wise is I've been playing Odd World, uh Stranger's Wrath on stream whenever I so do. You stream. got hooked, huh? You're 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 sucked in now? Yeah. That's your new I'm game. gonna I'm gonna play it till completion on stream. It's a great game. Nice. You know, so. we need to get you a fancy laptop so you can stream during your hour lunch breaks at work. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That'd be pretty fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> hey, I think he's a good job. Been, that's, what, yeah. that's what we're bringing up. That um, yeah, I just anyway. got a job. Uh, it's a good job. I'm really happy with it. So it's in the, it's in tech. So that's yeah. all I'm gonna talk about. It, oh, uh, keep it. we're streaming tomorrow. So Mickey will be joining me tomorrow. We're gonna finish X Men. We're almost done with that. And then actually, Mickey and I might be playing a game together or against each other on the Switch. So yes, oh, I figured uh, out a good way for that. So, yes, yeah, so, I, sent, I sent both the messages like, "Hi oh, guys, we've been doing this wrong." <laughs> and tomorrow, yeah. so uh, yeah, it's tomorrow night. Nice. Yeah, so streaming tomorrow night, streaming Saturday. Finish Princess Peach with Alara. Um, I know Jared, you're streaming Friday, Saturday. Yeah. Um, I might throw in another stream on Sunday, depending on how life goes. So we'll see. Very good. Maybe it'll that'll be Steven Seagal Sunday. I don't know yet. Ooh. Steven Seagal Sunday. Um, yeah. <laughs> Can we make that a uh, weekly you thing? Playing, How do you do that every week? Um, just I, a Steven Seagal Sunday? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many games? How long? Can, how many Steven Seagal games are there? Um, Is it negative? <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to play Unreal more uh, Supermarket Simulator on Saturday. That game is pretty fun. Okay. It's really dumb, but I want to see how much more of an actual game there is because I don't have any staff yet. So I at least want to play that for a little bit. Um I'm going to play the coin. You know, coin. Laura was sad she missed your stream. Oh, well, she She's can like, hop I really on, on Saturday. Just watch this, this, the, yeah, she really wanted to watch the stream, so she said she missed it. I really do have to watch what I say if she shows up, because <laughs> sometimes... No, it... I, she's, she's I almost know, 14, she's there, right? We're, we're, we're good. Yeah. She's about to drive. I mean, come on. God damn it, you're uh, right. That's oh, dude, scary. I like that bad pants. Sunday was meant for God, and Steven Seagal is a god. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect, yeah. Um, yeah. and then I'm going to play on Friday. I'm going to play the coin game. Do you know what this is? This is, a. 
it's another early access janky ass Steam game, but it's it's just like an arcade. So you just walk around. It's like a ticket redemption arcade. So okay. um yeah, so I'm gonna mess around with that. That's what was oh, I tried yeah. to play last week and it like screwed it up. Yeah. It screwed up my computer. <laughs> uh or or it revealed you can, that, that game can break your computer. Oh yeah, this game's so good it'll break your fucking no. Uh I just <laughs> it revealed that I had some I needed to fix some things with my video. So everything's fine. It didn't break my computer at all. But uh also I hope what not. else that thing's played? a beast. I know. Well, it's not that it's not that. It's not. Uh, I played Legend of Grimrock 2. That was a super fun um, RPG, but I don't know. You'll be sure to be on hand for that stream. <laughs> um, for the virtual Chuck E. Cheese or for uh, Steven Seagal Sunday? Yeah, it's virtual <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese, exactly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, and uh, what else? More Balatro, and I'm man, I'm real close to finishing Baldur's Gate. I, I, at this point... I I uh I don't know. It's really good. I've I I'm excited to finish it, but I also am not you know, I'm ready to move on, I guess is what I what I'm saying. But There's a game that Mickey was a turtle. What game was that? Have you Mickey, ever seen you a turtle that? get down? No, nope, don't know. <laughs> Are you going to start doing the ninja rap? If you can sell, uh, <laughs> Mickey's a little tired today after a long work day. But Sorry, we're, guys, we're, we're, really we're getting super back in there. Today. I've been doing uh, video training and stuff. Yeah. And stuff That's all the day, worst. So we just... need to have you take some espresso shots. So okay. it's well, just like video and note taking, and that's it. <laughs> well, before we move on to the classic commercial, we do need to touch on the draft results from last week. And uh, uh, I was sent a video that I'm told to play. Tom sent me this video, <laughs> uh, and this will an announce the results, I'm told. That's <laughs> okay. uh, so great. Uh, there's an ad break it's starting in 20 seconds. That's okay. Let's use it. It'll be over in 20 seconds. <laughs> it's such a build. <laughs> oh, and Handsome Tom wins. God, I, I really get moved this time. <clears throat> I I'm surprised. Rigged. <laughs> Rigged. I didn't even vote. Come on. <laughs> That's just what Eric said. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I I don't know, man. I I threw out some some baller games there that you couldn't keep up with. I mean, that's just it. Games. Stop the steal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, listen. When he puts out that many baller games. I don't know how to compete. So, and, and, you know, <laughs> Mickey with the, yeah. Hey Mickey, it's fine. You need can... a new avatar image. Yeah. He... <laughs> yeah. What? This is fun. Me and me it's and great. Tom have beady eyes in our, in our, uh, I just use the emotes, games. uh, and Mickey says these... from, uh, <laughs> from Lego. I know. Mickey is we'll, big... we'll update those. Cause yeah. I look ridiculous. That's I love okay. it. I love yours. <laughs> anyway. Uh, all right. Well, if that's it for, um, the uh <laughs> the uh oh we had the ad break oh well, that's fine let's uh let's see what's going on <laughs> in the news and we will play the trithorse theme song now pow pow wisdom oh boy Courage. news it's the trithorse news with handsome tom <laughs> i have to announce it otherwise they will talk over it cuz they can't hear it uh handsome tom hand it off to you my friend all right um uh best april fool's joke this year our fool's jokes have you guys seen that yet um oh. that's pretty fun i mean I've here's one from the Sega genesis yeah i mean there's been some really good ones over the years um this year's was okay i mean this is pretty funny i, I like how the sega is making fun of itself um i thought that was pretty fun the ad that they did and then uh, there was uh, cyberpunk Showing the uh, release version on a, a floppy disk, which I was. Oh yeah, and that would be like that would be a fun promo. Point. I mean, could, you know, you give that up to all the the streamers talking about your game. It'd be pretty fun. I don't know what you put on there, like a an eight bit image of the cyberpunk logo, because that's all they could fit on there. <laughs> I mean, it takes up hardly any space. But uh, Mickey, did you see the Pokemon Sleep? champion yes, tournament i did i was about to say that i was about to ask is that on the list because uh it is on the list. Amazing, amazing announcement 
Yeah, so it's a competitive Pokemon sleep game. And, so if you haven't have seen that hour long tournament. <laughs> yes. So if you haven't seen that, Mickey, I think you could win that tournament, man. Yeah, I think oh, yeah, you have to cosplay to be in the tournament. <laughs> Um, Among Us did a video. It was okay. Um, I think it, that's but in, it was a. Is it a video or they're doing that's actually in game where they like, they had long um, long necks in the game. Oh, for yeah, a day, it's I both think. long mode. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. Or that, maybe it's um, a joke, but there's a lot of Among Us awful. going on at my house. So. Yeah. Um. But I mean, that's about it. Like I said, I think the Sega one was was pretty memorable. Nothing like. I miss the ones that, you know, were like serious. Like, oh yeah. Here's here's the next Duke Nukem trailer, or you know something ridiculous that you you know nothing's ever like a here's the new Ghost trailer for the game that's coming out that canceled 15 years ago, uh, right? Or like, Starcraft, you know what I'm saying? So some of these make fun of themselves. I miss some of the really like. I think those get too much backlash, man, because all it does is reignite angry fans. Then everybody's well, yeah, I mean, that, That's another way to build hype if you want to bring a game back, though. I mean, it's a pretty pretty good idea. Um. Yeah, no, I, mean, I guess it, it definitely. Yeah, I mean, those kind of things are attention drawing, no doubt. Oh I, yeah, Fourth MG. How about the four, April Fool's joke that ended up not being a joke, and then Bad Pants has Discord because Discord has ads now, I guess. Oh uh, well, I mean, what about the uh, Akuma joke? I what mean, where, where did I thought Akuma wasn't that uh, an April Fool's joke? That what that they put um, Akuma in something. It's Akuma okay. didn't exist. They just made up a character, if if I remember correctly. Maybe that was an EGM magazine or something like that for April Fool's Day, oh, and then they just they actually made the character in game later because it was a very popular April Fool's joke. Oh, really? Um, yeah, that's wild. I never knew. Uh, that. Uh, am I losing my mind? I, I, I'm pretty sure it was Akuma. Um, if not, it was the uh, Jin on, maybe on. or something I, like that. I, I, got, I got the article here. It's yeah. from, I'm reading it from the Resident Evil fandom wiki. Apparently. The Akuma hoax. Uh, and uh, he was the subject of an April Fool's joke by Electronic Gaming Monthly, spin-off EGM. magazine, EGM2. Mm-hmm. And he was said to be a bonus character in Resident Evil 2. Oh. I, I, there was, but there were several really interesting ones. And that, that game, huge fan, you know, I mean, there's several different ones like that. But anyway, I missed some of those more serious ones. Um, all right. Uh, um, Akuma's claimed to have the ability to fire... Uh, Hadoken, like Godokens, <laughs> I don't know, whatever it's called. Same thing. Godokens instead of mm-hmm. using guns and that can explore would... through the entire game out without the need of keys. <laughs> Let me open up the magazine and I'll send it to you, Jared. That's awesome. <laughs> so, uh, good April Fool's jokes I missed. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I didn't see any other big ones. I saw like Terraria did one that was like, we're taking all the good stuff out, which I don't know if it really landed all that much um but but yeah i don't know it's always fun i always look forward to it but these days you're right there's no like big big that you're gonna get really you're gonna get got you know what i mean yeah well i mean everybody's ready for it so maybe that's why they don't do it as much but i feel like you might be able to like pull some shenanigans and release it like the day before (laughs) oh yeah and call April Fools or something like that. Anyway, yeah. Well, uh, all right, more uh, PS5 news. Um, you know they're trying to focus on uh, some fancier oh, stuff, so they're upscaling all, a lot of games to 4K with 60 FPS, and then a increase or adding ray tracing. And they're going to have a new label on the boxes. Um, so it'll say PS5 Pro Enhanced when the Pro comes out. I mean that's cool. Um, Is it I think ray be... tracing is awesome. Is it going to be PS5 games, or are they doing... No, it's a PS5 Pro Enhanced sure. requirements. So this is the label to have... I mean, so it has to have a minimum of, of 4K, 60 frames, and then adding or increasing um, ray tracing, which is pretty... Interesting. I wonder... I just wonder, because, like, mm-hmm. with the Xbox, how they did the frame or FPS boost games when mm-hmm. when Series X came out. Uh, but that was like older games, you know, so I was wondering if they're doing this to older games, too, or if they're only doing this to PS5 games. Um, uh, no, there's going to be they're doing it to older games, too. So I'm not cool. sure they haven't announced. I mean, I, what old you know games they are going to do. But so if they add ray tracing, that means obviously it's an older game. So the newer games should come standard that way. Um, but the older games, they're going to have that little logo on there. that says PS5 enhanced. So that's kind of cool. 
Um, you know, I, uh, I, what sucks is I didn't even know this, but the Harry Potter game, because uh, Alar tried to play it last week, won't work on Series X. Um, oh, wait, what, what? There's S. What's, what's the other one? S. It's got to be S. S. Uh, no, no, no. Xbox X and Xbox Series X. So the Xbox S will oh. not run uh, the Harry Potter game. So, Xbox One you know, S. One... Is that what you're talking no, about? No, no, no. There's Xbox X and there's <laughs> so Xbox stupid. Series X. Yes, okay. It, I mean, it is. It is. So right. the, 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 not the the cube, but the one right before the cube. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, with 4K and that kind of yeah. stuff. So I'm, <laughs> you know, I, I kind of wish that... Uh, I don't know. I just thought it was weird. Sorry. I don't know where, where I came up with that. We were That's talking about resolutions and, and scaling up, but I thought it was kind of weird. Um, all right. Last one we've got here. Um, you know what's crazy is, uh, and it sounds about right, 60% of playtime in 2023 were oh, games that were that. six years or older, which is crazy. So basically, the industry is supposedly growing, but the biggest competition is Fortnite, Grand Theft Auto, Call of Duty, and Roblox. So everybody's playing the same games over and over and over again, which I thought was interesting. And that's why everybody's but, uh, trying to do that. Everybody's uh, looking for that. Everybody wants their GTA 5 or their Roblox. It's like, Well, I really want another, and, and maybe it is uh, the game we were talking about earlier, but I want a better Call of Duty. You know, I really like Call of Duty. It's a solid game, but I'm just... Something different. I don't know if that makes sense. Sure. But... Um, you don't want me to? I'll give you the top five um, for the the top four consoles. So PC, PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch. So number one across the board. Uh, any guesses? PC. No, no, no. Number one game for all um, four. Systems. Oh, Stardew Valley. Um, uh, let's. I'm gonna say um, Roblox. Fortnite. Oh, okay. That so sense. Fortnite oh, is Fortnite. number one on every Minecraft. console system for last year. Um, <laughs> Number two uh, on PC is Roblox, on PlayStation, Grand Theft Auto, and then Xbox, Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, and then Switch, Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, which is a great game. Huh. Um, so number three uh, on PC is Minecraft. There, there's your Minecraft. Uh, three for PlayStation, Call of Duty, three for Xbox, Grand Theft Auto. So those just Switch. Uh, three for Switch is Mario Brothers. So I guess the Switch is a little more dedicated for their their um you know first party games um all right so where were we number four which is crazy um because i didn't think it was that popular was counter-strike 2 um oh. i don't i just don't i just don't know that many people playing it maybe i'm just not in that that realm um number four for playstation ea sports fc 24 which i guess because it's a world title it's, it's more popular uh, Xbox number four, Minecraft. Switch number four, Mario Kart eight, which is crazy because that game is old. The game is old, but there's um, no. That's the newest Mario hmm. Kart. It is, yeah. but I mean, it, all it is is a remake of the one that was on the Wii or, or, or the, the Wii U. Yeah, I forgot. It's a remake of the Wii U, just with some extra characters. <laughs> um, so it's even older than that. Um, all right, number five, Sims four on PC, Roblox on PlayStation. Roblox on Xbox and then Minecraft on the Switch. Crazy. So everybody just keeps playing the same old ass games. I guess if they're great games, they're great games. Yeah, um, yeah. Apex Legends is in the top ten. Hogwarts Legacy is actually um, more popular on the Switch than anything else. Hmm. And then you know Starfield is on on Xbox, of course. Um, anyway, so it's just uh, Isn't it's that good how and gaming bad. Used to be though. <laughs> What do you mean? You only have a few good games that you play over and over again? Dude, I don't know. Our draft last, you know, last like a, podcast says otherwise. There right. was so many games. We didn't, even, we didn't even, like, go through half of those yeah. games. There was so many good games for that year. <laughs> I mean, everything's different now. I, 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 I don't know. but Yeah, it's all different. Just... I think that's why. The, I, I do think, you know, there's a lot of doom and gloom about the industry right now. But I, I think it's just different you know it's just changing it's not necessarily dying it's just things are different now they're everybody's looking for their next golden goose because the golden goose is a different breed of goose these days you know what i mean i'm not even reading the chat the chat's going nuts here so uh popularity does not mean quality i mean yes and no i mean obviously if the game was super terrible unless they were making fun of it there's got to be some quality there that doesn't mean it's the best 
but at least there's some replay replay value. Um, we need more fishing game streams. Jared. <laughs> oh, you need some more fishing? You, uh, oh, I'll yeah. do it. Um, Don't, it's gonna, it's coming. The fishing. All right. Yeah, um, I love that. Well, we got to remember, I, uh, if I get that extra part, I know we're going off on a tangent here. Um, we can play that the Dreamcast fishing game with the controller, which I think would be really oh, yeah. fun to watch. <laughs> so uh, I think next yes. time you come over, I mean, we're, we're, we're supposed to be building the cabinet, but maybe we'll do a little bit of both. Maybe you'll yeah, fish we'll while I'm doing some of the building. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so bring your gear, Jerry. Actually, That'd be pretty okay, funny. I'll break my hat. And You'll I'll be my fishing, net. and then uh, TJ, mm. Tom will be in the background building the cabinet, building yeah. the arcade machine. So yeah, we'll do both. We'll, you know, what we'll stream from his phone and from my computer <laughs> in two different angles. You can see now Jared fishing and me building. I, I don't know. We're going crazy <laughs> here. Um, we're going crazy. Uh, Horse, CS2 is a top play game. You know what? I might download that again. Uh, I downloaded Counter Strike Two when it came out, and I, I was like, oh, "It's okay." So maybe it's been updated. So I, I should probably whip that thing out again. Um, All right. Take I mean, rumor is what? Steam is going to be on Xbox soon. What? I just you're talking what? about whipping that thing out. You're making me uncomfortable. Oh my gosh! <laughs> talk about a whopper. Of course I am. Yeah, uh, dude. Uh, the rod and beers. Size. We'll we need the average we'll, size. We'll, uh, We'll have we'll have the uh, the chest of beers ready to go for the fishing debut. Great, <laughs> I'll never go home. Okay, an average size. There we go. Hey, there's the average size. Perfect. Um, <laughs> I'm surprised that got um, through. It, it's not. It may not have gone through on the. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. Uh, is that the news? Uh, that is the news. Well, what, I just want to see if this works. You suck. It you does. Suck oh, ass. and Zedric did point out. Zedric did point out that it does work. You can make me do it. I'm I'm trained at this point. It's like Pavlov's dog. <laughs> uh, just, all right, all right. Zedric did point out earlier, like forever ago, that this podcast is about to go places. <laughs> uh, because uh, yeah, recipes. You suck. You jackass. You guy. Got Jesus Christ. I can't. <laughs> But yeah, the guy who that actor from that movie uh, passed away. So oh, I didn't know that. That sucks. Yeah, that they, they apparently Aww. just happened. So well, what sucks too is uh, I hear they're making a second. That is. <laughs> These are supposed to be All off. Right. What's going on here? Man, just <laughs> mute them. I did. <laughs> I don't know. They're they're supposed to be muted. All right, well, let's Manually keep moving. Turns so, out commercial <laughs> time. <laughs> yes, I'm sorry. I actually forgot. We, I'm out of order here. I'm, I'm all, yeah. Uh, well, jeez. Um, commercial. It is time for Fishing the classic got commercial. You excited. Be right back. <laughs> Did you see the latest Nintendo newsletter? Whoa, nice graphics. I'd like to get my hands on that game. Oh yes, the rap. We can play it on my Nintendo Entertainment System. <laughs> it's the Legend of Zelda, and it's really rad. Those creatures from Ganon are pretty oh bad. Yes. Octorok tech levers too. But with your help, our hero pulls through. Yeah, go Link. Yeah, get some. How many times does he have to adjust his glasses? Hey, listen. The Nintendo when Entertainment he's a nerd, system. okay? Your parents help you hook it up. The Legend of Zelda sold separately. In the land of Hyrule, the wind echoes a legend. A legend that tells of a boy who became a man. He traveled to the end of the earth, challenging the Love this game. of nature. Yeah, man. In the limit of his will. I wish I might play through this again for this switch. Destiny, which is above all else. They're keeping that in their back pocket. To save. Man, I just need to play because I didn't have a Wii U and I want to play the HD remake. The Wind Waker. Yeah, yeah, it it did. They did do an HD remake. It's and it's better because it gives you, you can get the super sale or whatever, so you can go to win change. And they made it easier and stuff. They corrected the correct action game. Dude, love that cartoon. Introducing Turbo Graphics 16, the next generation video game system. It's four got a lot of good commercials this time. So the games are more exciting. There are almost ten times oh, yeah, I did the, as many the colors, graphics. so the arcade quality graphics are even more intense. And you can expand oh, we did play that last time we were here. CD player for CD games with sound there it is. That are turbo CD game fighting street. Turbo graphics 16 from NEC. The I just looked at chat and Zidrick, I think, was talking about those two, the nerdy boy and the cool boy or whatever. <laughs> and he goes, those guys are now 50. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, you know what? There's one thing that most people don't notice in that that rap commercial, but they have the Nintendo 
I don't know if it was like an experimental one, but the buttons were black on nintendo itself ah. but it's only in one scene when it shows like the setup with the nintendo the game and the tv or whatever it's it not the same nintendo so there, it's like there's just shows this one scene with the, the buttons that were black and it, uh, i 100 percent guarantee it's probably just a production error they probably had the wrong prop or something we need the Maybe. handsome tom's useless knowledge like drop to look I mean? to look that up yeah, I dude, I I just I was always sad that I never had one that had different color buttons. Did I need it now? But you know what are you gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> do you need it? Look at your look at the room you're in. Um, these are all useful things. That's true. Oh, I, I don't disagree. <laughs> don't get me wrong. Um, I only play Kunio Kun games. That's true. Uh, all right. Well, and some Tom's useless. There we knowledge. go. Thank you. See, I I need to be there, able to play that. I'm gonna look up that. I'm gonna look up that Nintendo one day. The best version of Double Dragon <laughs> is Double Dragon Advance. Is that not what we played? Uh, we I played Double that's... Dragon CD. Oh, yeah, you uh, so played Double Dragon CD. The CD. Yeah. Okay. Well. Anyway, so, I guess. Every game. All right. Uh. Well, hey, listen, you guys. Um. If you don't mind stepping into my dungeon, we are gonna have to <laughs> go into Jared's audio. Let's listen to the audio. Yeah, theme song's like, happening. So hold on one second. Audio go. <laughs> Jared's audio dungeon. Jared's audio dungeon. I actually need to redo the song. It's, Jared's audio it's not sexy enough. Jared's audio well, I just have, yeah. I just have better. I can do uh, better voices now. But anyway, okay. uh, so yeah, I if you guys don't mind, we're just gonna open the uh, creaky door, big stone, mossy, creaky. There we go. And here we are. We're here in my audio dungeon. So. Um, welcome. We all know our Koji Kondos and our Nobu Uematsus. Uh, but there were many, so many people making music, uh, making music, uh, making music on old consoles and old chipsets. Uh, that so many people who made video game music in the past have kind of just been forgotten about. So today we're going to listen to a few hits from a lesser known name with a huge cult following. Uh, uh, the artist is named Tim Fallen. There's, you'll see him on the internet all over the place. He's uh, definitely has a big cult following these days. Um, so I sent you guys three links because uh, I can't share my audio with you right now. So oh, that's kind of annoying. Um, so uh, we're going to listen to the... We're going to start with Silver Surfer and uh, take it from there. So have, do you guys remember Silver Surfer? Um, I do, and then uh, I remember the AVGN ripped it apart, uh, pretty bad for sure back in the yeah. day. We, yeah, but um, I've never beaten it. But well, you know. let me get to sorry, some of this. Ah, here we go. Sorry, so this is the world one. Yeah, you. I'm sorry, here we go. Yeah, you can't play it long enough to enjoy the music. It's pretty solid, man. It's pretty killer. I dig it. Uh, he was just like definitely maximizing these old chipsets because there's just nothing that really quite sounds like that. I mean, there's obvious limitations with the hardware, um, but I mean, it, it, just... it almost sounds like guitar riffs in some of those. Oh, absolutely. Know, I mean, they're a little more higher pitch, but they're almost like guitar riffs going through some of those, you know. For sure. It's really good, yeah. There is, uh, so let's, let's actually move on to. Um, Another NES. Now these are all NES games. He did a lot of different things, but uh, we'll stay on the NES with Pictionary. So, uh, you know, your standard Pictionary NES home version. Uh, for some reason, how do you how are you inspired to make good music for a Pictionary I know. NES game? You know, he didn't have to go this hard, but he did. Yeah, but he did. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! That's good. Power 
play. <laughs> Pretty good. I think the Silver Surfer is better so far. That's my opinion. Yeah, I can, I can, I can see that. They, they, they both go places. That's the thing is that it never. I'm, I'm just giving like little bite size bits here, but I mean they, they change and they're uh, really amazing. Like I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm amazed by someone who can take, uh, you know, work within limitations and make something that's this big of a standout. About 40 something seconds in, and then right about 50, this great part from the Pictionary one. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it just goes hard. Oh, Solstice. Yeah, so Solstice is what I'm going to play next. So let's. Uh, That's a good one. Yeah, Solstice is wild. And, and I, I do love one of the comments on the Pictionary video is that <laughs> someone saying, Tim, it was just Pictionary. <laughs> Which is uh, very funny to me. Um, so well, it's just like the RoboCop, uh, RoboCop for Game Boy soundtrack. Have you ever heard that? No, it was hard. Uh, let me. I'll send it to you. We'll, I guess we're gonna. We'll have to can. send it to me, and I, I can pull that up. Um, right. Sorry. <laughs> so uh, now Solstice on on the NES is wild. Uh, this one, it, it. I love. There's actually a comment on here too that describes it very well. That it starts off with like a very basic plain nes uh just kind of chip sound and then just blows your mind with the effects yeah solstice is awesome benzai what's up man oh what's up benzai now is benzai here what up ben b b b benzai oh benzai let, let me know when you want to be on the show next we can talk about some video game music is Robo Game Boy Robocop Game Boy title theme. Well, let me pull that up. Right, Mickey, you're pretty hard on that Robocop thing. I think we talked about that in the last month. <laughs> it's good. I'll pull it up in a sec, Mickey. Yeah, yeah, whenever. This just makes me want to pull out the NES. But... I know, right? It's like. <laughs> Uh, Solstice was my G1 highlight review back on ScrewTech, and it started everything. <laughs> I, I think I remember that, actually. Oh my what, gosh. What's this crazy is, is uh, well, dude, I saw, uh, um, you, you guys see his hard corner, like, ridiculous promo that he I put out this. today? <laughs> you should go watch that if you guys haven't seen Benzai's hard corner promo. Well, we will have to check that out. I missed that. God, it just keeps going places. Okay, sorry. God damn it, Solstice is so good. It's insane. <laughs> I, I now I really want to play the game. <laughs> it's, I don't remember the game, to be entirely honest. There's some other really well, we good. Need to see if we can, like, we can see a see lot if we can of posters. Review. Benzai, do you still have a copy of that that review? Yeah, it's like a. It's an isometric perspective puzzle game. You control a wizard. Hold on. Ben's eyes. <laughs> We're holding his beer. I think he has a copy of it. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember this game so hard. It was so good. All right. So that's Solstice. Let's do Treasure Master. This one is also on the NES. You get the flying boots this has in that a game. Treasure Master has a badass... Has some badass art, by the way. Wildly good. Oh, God. And the, the AVG Damn. and also uh, thumbs down this one as well. Which, Solstice? No, no, Treasure Master. Oh, yeah. But yeah, no, the box art is the so most badass. 90s thing you could ever yeah. do. <laughs> really good stuff all right mickey i've got i, I hate to cut it short that, but we, we're probably running out of time let me that, that's your costume no, no, next year jared for halloween that the treasure master the treasure master uh, oh that's god that's a really so good hard. idea i love it <laughs> okay it's the 80s on box art <laughs> yeah i know right uh mickey <clears throat> i'm gonna play robocop game boy title theme nice. 
Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit. It's a good theme. <laughs> and it's it's like a six minute theme and it goes places. Like you listen to it. <laughs> it, it gets like emotional. It's it starts off emotional. No, it gets real it's like it gets good, I love it. It's a good it's a good theme and it's like this was this is for the Robocop for Game Boy. <laughs> All right, Benzai uh, says he sent us his uh, the review of Solstice. I'm, I, I want to watch it again. It's been God, when 2006. <laughs> Has it been that long? Oh, uh, is it, yeah, it's in the DM. They we're getting so old. I'm oh, sorry to you. In chat. There you go. There you go. There's Benzai's Solstice. <laughs> Review. Should I pull it up? Yeah, man, pull it up. Oh, it's great. It, Benzai has a whole theme song and everything, but if you have an ad blocker, oh, it'll, it'll, it'll yell oh, at you. I forgot about the the white bear, Benzai man. <laughs> uh, well, Barry, what was the bear's name? Barry. Yeah, I totally forgot about the white bear. But God, actually, uh, Benzai, before you started this, oh man. The dancing is great. You were translating uh, Screwtech videos for French people, which was pretty badass. Okay, hold on one sec. Let me add this. Uh, let me add some. Add this video. And by the way, we are getting an ad in about fifty seconds or so, so can't snooze it. You guys got a deal. You guys got a deal. All right, sorry. Hold on. I know this is crude. Here's Barry. Sorry about my crudeness. I can do this on the fly. So he got the G1 spotlight um, back in the day, and he sub started subbing AVG in for his friends as well. That's awesome. Okay. Are you ready? And now yeah. Perfect. Daily motion. And <laughs> this is the best title for anything. Things you might don't know but are still pretty sweet. Pretty damn sweet. Can, pretty damn sweet. Can we bring that back, Benzai? Just... And Hello. Barry. There he is. And Barry. Sweet. <laughs> pretty damn that. sweet. Man, I like your Star Wars outfit there. <laughs> you do look like the Emperor, man. <laughs> I love it. Let's first start with the cover. This is the Star Wars Game podcast. Our special God, clip is the entire like Benzai review. So, I tried the game right away. Hmm. A bit soundtrack. I still love it. But wait! It actually looks pretty good. I love the cutscenes. Yeah. Yeah, dude. This game moves the shit. I love it. Basically, you it brings back a lot of memories for me. I remember playing this a lot. <laughs> Bad dude of the story. He throws you in his dungeon, and that's it. <clears throat> then I finally tried the real game. Okay, let's go. Internet, stuff, it was yeah. just so much funnier in 480p. <laughs> dude... Ten years old, Jesus. What the fuck? <laughs> mean, Wait, when did this come out? Guy. Make this is 14 years old. And then you cry like an well, that's when it was uploaded on this site. Oh, yeah, he said 2008. Evil. Sorry. Ah. What the hell is okay, this should we move on? What's the goal, Dan? You get to explore the entire dungeon, searching for pieces of a magic rock. And you don't watch the whole review? <laughs> I don't know, should we? Save your girlfriend, leave ever after. Uh, you're halfway done. If accidentally you find a Might as well. You're bringing no good goodie back to the good old days. <laughs> and this dungeon is freaking huge. It's like open to explore with hundreds of rooms. Eight levels. We're gonna go subscribe to Ben's Eye. <laughs> Oh shit! I don't know who just what. You're going to die over what just happened? We're in an ad right now. Oh Benzai, Benzai just subscribed for Prime. Yeah, Benzai, thank you, Benzai. Thank you for the Prime sub. 
It's really four minutes, yeah, because there's a big ending uh, song at the end with his theme again. Well, it's amazing theme, so it should take up as much time as it wants. 70 pounds. So you've, gained, you've gained 70 pounds of muscle, Benzai? <laughs> you just got jacked. Then you jump on the platform. Yeah, the flying boots. You suck, Benzai. So you try again. <laughs> but then I learned that Is that a Harry Potter rope? This should be in our uh, sound effects video. Yes, this game is His dick just got huge. huge. I, I figured, I, I knew that was coming. It was going to be all in this general area down here. Is an extra 70 pounds. <laughs> Although I don't know if he wants 30 pounds down there. That, that's, that's, that's like... Yeah. Too big. 30 pounds of dick and balls. <laughs> that sounds like a mistake. Or would you be like 70 pounds, but 60% oh, okay. of it is bush. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, yeah, so 100 since 2008. Jeez. It was an official Harry Potter rope. I was right. Because it's not the game's fault. It's your fault. This was produced at a time when months were needed to truly master a game and make it to the ending. And actually, the controls are great. I love the soundtrack, but most importantly, it's original. No, it is. It's the only original. Thing you have to do to finish the game. Benzai, does does that may, name mean anything, or just your nickname? I, I can't remember. about this sequel, Equinox for the SNES, but this one was lame. Yo, my name's Benzai. You know that I like kissing guys. I had the I think about that all the time. Doing them days. <laughs> I. <laughs> uh, it's He's got to a band's a bonsai because he loves anime. Nice. Yeah, cool. Bonsai, nice. Benzai. Oh, that's great. So now you're supposed to read it as Benzai. <laughs> like bonsai, the bonsai tree. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, man, thanks for sending it. I I haven't seen that uh so long. Apple, what's up, man? Way to wake up. Get ready for work. <laughs> uh, morning, Apple. All right. Apley. Well, that's it for uh, Jared's audio dungeon this time, I guess. So that's that's a little little taste of Tim Fallen. He did a ton of stuff. Definitely worth looking into if you haven't heard it. Uh, and and you know the only way for us to get out of here is we gotta go through that old creaky door again. So we gotta come on in. We're gonna have to close yeah. it. So hold on. Let me close this thing. Give me a sec. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, cool, and that's it for Jared's Audio Dungeon. Uh, and uh, let's see. I think it's time for our main segment of the week. Uh, where that's right. Our Game Heroes Team Up. Uh, welcome to the very first edition of the Game Heroes Team Up, a game in which we choose competing teams of characters from the world of video games and speculate wildly on which team would have more success in a contrived scenario of, of our choosing. This week's scenario, we choose a presidential cabinet. Listen, it's an election year, and that it's happens time. in like seven months, and we're gonna be really, really sick of it by then. So let's just get <laughs> let's get this out of the way. We don't do the political stuff here, but let's just do something now while we still think it's kind of fun because we're all gonna hate ourselves in like six months. So, uh, any, so yeah, we're just gonna choose um. Our video game cabinet. Yes. Are pretty much. Yeah. So, Benzai, we'll see you. Thanks for stopping by, man. See you, Benzai. Uh, Thanks for out. Out. <laughs> All right. So, are we going to start uh, at the top? Are we going straight for president and working our way down the cabinet? Well, I was going to see what you guys thought. What do you guys think? And let's actually, I have. Do you want you know, to know It's going to get pretty. Go ahead. Huh? What? Huh? Yeah, it's going to. We'll start. I think we should start at the top. It, it'll, be, okay. it'll get obscure at the bottom. Okay. Cool. Sounds good. Well, why don't you guys start? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're just we're not doing that. I do. Should I start for president or? Uh, yeah, you, you start. Okay. So who's your president? For my president, you, you know, the president picks everybody else. So I might as well start there. Well, I I went back and forth on my my president and vice president. I think either one could do the job pretty well for diff for wildly different reasons. Um, but I chose for my president, Sarah Morgan. Of constellation from starfield so uh yes i married her in the game 
and that has nothing to do with this, okay? I'm not letting... You just look over the perks, Jared. I see how it is. <laughs> uh, but no, she's... Listen, she's, like, ex-military. She's a great diplomat. Um, I think I think she's just got the stuff to be the prez. You know what I mean? Well, I, I also went space-themed. Okay, later um, on. But this person's a, a little harder, I think. Uh, you know what? I, it's almost the same. I mean... Uh, I went with Commander Shepard. Oh, Okay. Oh, we're a little older. Great also choice. Also space themed. Yes, and you know, male or female doesn't matter. He can be both. Sure. <laughs> because you get to choose. But uh, you know, Commander <laughs> Shepard. Um, that's what I went with. I, I think he's got the, you know, stuff. <laughs> yeah. He saved all the planets. Yeah. No, I think that's a great choice. I I I I, I thought about that myself. No. Um, Simon it, Simon's oh. here. He says Jared's sleeping with the president scandal. <laughs> By the way, we did use your uh, your classic commercial earlier. I for, I may have forgot to shout you out, but Simon sent the Wind Waker commercial earlier. So thank you, Simon. Uh, Mickey, did you have a president? Lay it on me, man. Who is who is the leader of your free world? Samus Aran. Samus. He went with Samus. Okay. That's pretty She's just a bounty Samus. hunter, man. She's got all that. She can bring all the cool alien tech, you know? Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me bring up my vice president too, because you'll like that. It'll be a good team. Uh, okay, all right. President, President Samus Aran, Vice President Duke Nukem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I see. I took I took Duke Nukem for my Secretary of Defense. So I do. So Duke's, ah, in, okay. Duke's in my cabinet too. D Duke's in there. Mass Effect. Sorry, I don't know why why nobody's thinking of uh, uh, Commander Shepard. Um, can't pick and Duke Nukem. <laughs> um, um, so, so defense. So we'll skip to Secretary of Defense. Well, hold on, um, so hold on, hold I on. chose. I'm still stuck on Mickey having Samus and Duke Nukem. <laughs> <laughs> They're <laughs> best friends in this world. I, okay, okay. I, if that's, I don't think she's going to put up with this. I his, was going to uh, say. No, like, no, 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 no. <laughs> that's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing. The vice president doesn't do anything. Like, like that's sure, like he's a gonna hang out with and thing. smoke cigars Perfect for the Duke. Okay, that is so. Like he goes in there, he can showboat. He's never really gonna do things. <laughs> like you'd have to assassinate the president. So the president, Samus Aran. You know, Samus assassinate Samus. Go ahead, try it. <laughs> well, my vice president, I went with a a scientist. You know, big name here, but I went with Gordon Freeman. Oh, very good. good one. So I'm That's going. I'm going good. back a little older than you guys. So Gordon Freeman. So I got Commander Shepard. So obviously the leadership ability. I'm going too hard on this one. And no, then Gordon good. Freeman because you know he's going to change everybody's school lunches to be better. <laughs> I got That's him for cool. energy. <laughs> oh, smart, smart. Well you done. You got him for what? I picked him for energy. Oh, okay. Nice. All right. Energy's okay. good. My vice president was. Uh, if, yes. If I should go with Joe advice. Valentine. No, I thought about I thought about something like that, but I went with the level. Okay, listen, we got a couple kinds of presidents, but one of the types of presidents that we have in the U.S. is the lovable lovable doof. You know what I mean? Like it's a little bit. Yeah, we yeah. haven't had a lovable doof in a long time, but like <laughs> now you get a drive. <laughs> you get a lovable doof every once in a while, and so I went with a lovable doof. And I went with Ich Ichiban Kasuga from from Yakuza Like a Dragon. So the main character from Like oh a Dragon, God. he 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 cares about it. He's got a big Japanese heart. Japanese man. Yes, he's a Japanese man. So that doesn't make sense. And he doesn't speak Everyone, English. <laughs> none of our presidential picks make really make sense either. No, of course it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. But he's got a big heart. All he cares about is helping people, and he'll whoop he'll whoop an ass if he has to too. So that's always helpful. And uh -huh. I, I just think, yeah, I think he's a, I would vote for him. All right. So do we have uh, any? Secretary of State. Yeah. What do you. Who'd you choose? Me? Are we going me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, so I have, listen, I had Sarah Morgan in, 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 in my position of power. And then I get Ichiban, the kind of lovable doof. So I needed a, a more serious voice again as Secretary of State. So I went with doof. a. A really kind of lame choice because it's not very creative, mm -hmm. but I chose uh, the Princess Zelda. Listen, watch okay. out. Okay, uh, you Listen, know she's she's, she's a diplomat, a international. Yeah, 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 diplomat. Okay, 
Nice. She's royalty. She's got the she's got the pedigree. Um, and I think she she you can know, change clothes on a whim. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> exactly. She can be. A, yeah, exactly. She can be a lot of different people, and she can get around quickly. Right. Um, nice. But she also the other thing that she has is that she can, you know, she's a little more serious. She can keep. She's the one really doing the work here. You know what I mean? Let's be real. Yeah. Anyway, Nikki, what do you got? Uh, so I have a pretty strong president and vice president. I think they Physically are the ones strong? who carry it. They carry a very big stick and don't speak that softly. I want to say so. I needed someone who's more friendly, someone who's going to make other, you know, be more invited, be, be, you know, the voice. I put with Luigi. You know, everyone loves Luigi. Luigi, ah, oh, well, he's gonna be afraid of the, everybody. He's so he's friendly. Especially, he'd be so polite. Negotiating. He'd be so friendly. He'd be like the <laughs> the perfect guest anywhere. <laughs> Let's not go to war. <laughs> yeah, no, so, perfect. He, I I put uh, I put Sonic as your secretary so of Sonic, state. Sonic, yeah, Sonic he can travel hedgehog. anywhere so fast. Oh, that's <laughs> very true. <laughs> he can go meet people where they're at to start doing what he needs to do, or Get throw fast. a ring. That's throw a very ring smart. Through it for the movie. Yes. Yeah, we can sign the peace treaty if you bring the chili dogs. Like, <laughs> if there's, yeah, if there's like a, say there's like a global, um, like peace when, uh, endangering situation, right? Like the Cuban that missile dude can crisis. Run across is the, the yeah. water, no big deal. He can get yeah, there and just be like, oh my Look. god, told you, turns into supersonic. We're good. That's yeah. Uh, I'm, that's gonna, I'm gonna, actually... I'm gonna say, real quick for Secretary of Defense, um, bad pants. I didn't pick this, but I'm going. I'm going to shout out for you, Gandhi from Civilization, for Secretary <laughs> of Defense. He's aggro in the, in uh, Civ. Uh, he he nukes everyone. He he's the first one because it's like he has like a zero. It's like what happens is it glitches in the game because he has like a zero uh, aggro, and then it goes to negative. So what it does is it rolls up to the most aggressive. So if he gets as soon as he gets nukes, he'll nuke someone. That is awesome. Uh, treasury. Did you guys have a treasury pick? Should I pick? I do have a treasury. Yeah, I you go one. for what it. I, I chose uh, the Fable 3 player character because, listen, in my country, in my ideal in United my States, country. in my country, what we do with our money is we pile it all into a one single room. We just get all the money, we convert it to like gold or something, and we just shove mm -hmm. it into a room, like a, in a huge fucking pile. <laughs> I so if you guys remember in Fable Three, like you end up just like filling a room with your gold. That's what I want in my treasure. That's so that's that's what happens in my United States. Jared, okay. I think you and I have a very similar view of the United <laughs> States because I originally was going to go with Wario for my Secretary of Treasury. Oh, that's who, who I also, went with. I actually went with also, Wario. Yeah, that's who you went with. Yes. Wario oh, is the secretary of treasury. Well, I didn't go with Wario. I went with Scrooge McDuck from the DuckTales video game. Well, I thought about that too, but I, I didn't know if that was cheating because he's technically a character no, after. That's okay. That's great okay. Video game. An amazing video game. They got an HD remake too. So it, it, that's you know. true. I have the HD remake. It's great. Um, no, I did Wario, man. Golden coins, man. He collects that crap. He's oh, know, that's true. I know. That was my I literally wrote down Wario first and I was like, nah, I like Scroo Scrooge McDuck would be good. But see, yeah, see, Scrooge have... is cheating. I, I, I almost said Scrooge too. Y'all chose some like greedy, how... some greedy guys. No, have we you chose seen people who would people? do the most they can do to get money for like for the treasury. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. yeah. Eric says they're cheating. Mickey. Yeah, Mickey well, that's always because has you cheat. say I'm cheating every time that I pick a good one. You think... immediately say I'm <laughs> I cheating. I think Scrooge is fine. I think Scrooge McDuck's okay. It's, Scrooge, yeah. Scrooge is okay. It's a big uh, enough game. Two great video games. It's a big. Yeah. What do we have for defense? Oh, so I had Duke, uh, just because uh, in an Duke. alien invasion, we all know what happens. So I don't even think okay, I need so to say Okay, so my else initial about thought was Missile Command. Oh, what's... <laughs> yeah. Missile Command, so you have to blow up all the falling oh, missiles? Oh, no, I know, with a game, but, like, what are you choosing? Yeah, but I chose uh, Kratos, the God of War, from ooh, the first ooh, two God of Wars, clutch, not clutch. the pansy God of War, where he's... Wants to not fight anymore. The and, pansy you know, god of war. Oh, <laughs> you mean 
Oh boy. We shouldn't fight anymore. Let's let's just, just go into it. Wow. Because when the, that game came out, there was there was no planned sequels or anything. So God of War yeah. One Kratos. So Kratos is gonna come back and rise <laughs> from his grave. <laughs> Get his chains and beat some ass if we have any problem. He can't die. He's the ghost of Sparta. What are you gonna do? That's a fair point. I'm gonna have Sonic. I'm gonna have Sonic run his ass across the wherever he needs to go and drop Kratos off and peace out and go talk to people. Oh, okay. So now you got Sonic carrying people around. He's, yeah. he's a good team he's a, together. He's a team player. <laughs> Bad pants. Yeah, he's like a play together his, team. His, his, his best friend has a, a I plane. Mean, Sonic is the Secretary of State. Bad <laughs> pants just canceled us because I called Kratos Pansy. Yeah. Okay. No, right. the game's great. I do love. I I did play through the most recent one. You know, recently, but. You know, I, I, I don't know. He's lost kind of some of his uh, macho ness. That's the best sure. way to put it. He just seems yeah. kind of like an old man. I'm like, eh. I'm surprised oh. he didn't go with transportation how dare they... for Sonic. That's just... how do... Oh, I no, I have a good that. transportation one. That. I've got a good transportation How dare they one. Right. Yeah, add a little great. bit of, like, heart into a purely de masculine <laughs> it's, character? It's a, it's a good game. Come on. I know. I'm just giving you a hard time. <laughs> I just thought it was very funny that you... <laughs> <laughs> you... Okay, sorry. Uh, where are we at? Secretary of Agriculture. Uh, secretary. Uh, no, hold on. I never said oh, my defense. Oh, sorry, Mickey. I... Jeez. Solid Snake. Solid Snake. <gasps> Does Solid he? Snake. That's actually a really good choice. That's an excellent choice. He has the power of uh, the government behind him. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just have him be in there. Yeah, Old Man Snake. Old Snake. Old Snake. Play him from The Walking Dead. He's <laughs> got the experience. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um and that's a really good. That's a really good choice. Uh, all right, agriculture, Tom. What you got for agriculture? I got gardening, Mama. <laughs> the Mama. Oh, she knows. She knows. Mama. She knows how to garden, man. <laughs> <laughs> you ever play gardening, Mama? No, of course. I mean, I know like, of gardening, cook, cooking mama. mama, gardening, Mama. Yeah, she she she's got that green thumb. She knows what's up. I'm a fan of gardening <laughs> games, so yeah. Okay, Mickey, what you got? Um, okay, so I originally was like. I don't know, Stardew Valley character, but I was like, ah, eh, now let me think of an actual character because it's kind of a cop out. Uh, I'm going with Kirby. For gonna egg, make, make sure all the he's gonna make sure all the food in my country tastes good. All right, you know Kirby's not gonna accept. I was waiting tea. for you to go with Mario too because he pulls all the turnips from out of the ground. Oh, that'd be a good one. <laughs> Pea shooter from Plants vs Zombies. That's actually a really good idea. I took the mm. the cop out answer, and I did the grandfather. From Stardew Valley. So your that's, grandfather. That's a good one. Yeah. It's not called okay. that's a, actually that's a good one. That's an actual so, yeah, that's, he gives you he rates your video game character. He rates your farm at the end. At the beginning, he's like, Look, take over my farm, I died. And then and then in two years I will rate your farm and I will tell you how well you did. Well, like how long between his death and then you moving in? Because that farm was dilapidated and terrible. So how good of a farmer was your grandfather? Ooh, great Deku tree, great Deku tree. Damn, that would have been good. That would have been a good one. Uh, that's, that's a, a solid one. one. I didn't even think about that one. That's I'm a good changing mine to Great yeah. Deku tree. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kirby, uh, what, do, what, do, what do we got next? Uh, housing and urban development. I've got two here. One of them is too obvious. So uh, I'll let you go, Mickey. You, you need to go first. Tom Nook. Harvest right. Moon. See, Tom Nook was the obvious one. So that was my one I had to push aside. Mm hmm. Uh, what do you got, Jared? I went with the mayor of SimCity from specifically the Super Nintendo version, where he's like, "Ah, okay. fuck! Everything's, everything's bad." You know what I'm talking about? That's yeah. who I want running my urban development. So, I went with uh, the Protoss. Okay. From Starcraft. All right. So just... they can just warp in shit and uh, move on. Uh, not bad. <laughs> so uh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember the who's the head of the Protoss. Uh, off the top of my head, I, uh, I don't know, man. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? Protoss. On, yeah, put, the... in a, put in a pylon, warp the crap in, move on. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor of some city has the power to destroy cities if you That's put true. them off. That's a good call. If you don't pay taxes. Who is Newt. in Link's Awakening? Apparently, I don't remember that. Hmm. Uh, all right, transportation. Well, did we skip commerce? Uh, I'm, oh, I, I guess I miss commerce. Oh, geez, what do you guys have? I'll, I'll think of one on the fly. Oh, for nah. commerce, I have the uh, Resident Evil 4 merchant uh, who's like, Come What you buying? What are you, what you buying? Selling? 
<laughs> what are you selling? <laughs> yeah, that's all I right. just for that. Just for that. Uh, I'll go with uh, Call of Duty because they make you try to buy everything <laughs> <laughs> with their micro transactions. Nice. <laughs> just Call of Duty the game. Yeah. Um, I'm going with the Dovahkin. Oh, Dovahkin. Nice. Dovahkin in Skyrim because yeah. do you know how many cheese wheels you buy and sell in that game? That, that's a good call. <laughs> or you build, or you just. Oh, it's craft, either him. Like, it was either bags. him. It was a good it's one. either him or uh, the. Uh, <laughs> the uh what's his name the courier from new vegas because i always went with like tin luck and we oh. max out the casinos i don't know his name but i was talking about <laughs> smart it. but i know jared i really like yours the what you buy and i, I, I always forget about that guy <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was just thinking of like uh, funny merch that's a good pick though jared um all right so i, I got two for transportation okay what you got lay it on me um i have uh zelda spirit tracks for transportation oh, oh just like link from spirit tracks Laying down the tracks yeah Damn. laying down the tracks dude that game spirit tracks rules. Done. that game is so good <laughs> it's not as good as phantom hourglass um, but uh but right. my back yeah, my backup was portal oh por portal oh shell portal oh yeah. shell that's portal right, yes shell yeah portal Hey guys, my, I'm dressed up portal. as Portal for so, Halloween. I, 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 hey, Portal. Was my, a little my Halloween more, costume's uh, Portal. I love Portal, just like I love Metroid, and I love Halo. Hey guys, I dressed They're up as, stra characters. as Stranger Things for Halloween. I also thought about Captain Falcon. <laughs> that's a good uh, idea. That's who I picked. <laughs> yeah, you picked? Oh, oh, good pick. one. Okay. Okay, good. The transportation is Captain Falcon. He's going to take you places. He's got, he's got a cool car. Hey, he's got he's got to build tracks that he's, make you just fall off and die. He's gonna revolutionize the transportation. And make it super hard to go anywhere. Um, <laughs> I chose um one super highway. <laughs> I'm getting crap. I you know what I'm talking about. Is that the same kind of person that calls Link Zelda? Okay, Link <laughs> yeah. from the Zelda game. It's Spirit Zelda Spirit Tracks. You got you know what I'm saying. Listen, if I can't give you shit, then I, what's the point? Um. Uh, Dr. Goody's picking the I song from Marvel's Capcom 2. <laughs> oh, come on. Take, take, take you for a ride. ride. Uh, I took uh, <laughs> Sid from Final Fantasy 4. So Sid's in like every Final Fantasy game, right? Or there's always a character named Sid. But in Final Fantasy 4, he's like a, he's the airship guy. You know what I mean? So I just. Mm. Wait, yeah. Let's get some airships. What are we waiting on? What's the. what? Do, screw flying cars. Let's get flying ships first. So I'm I'm bringing we're we're having airships in my USA, and uh, was there was that it for transportation? Uh, uh yeah, that's it. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we got we got it, energy next. This is our last. Oh, Gordon last Freeman. One. Nice. And mm -hmm. I I picked an attorney general, so you know. <laughs> is it Phoenix Wright? Phoenix Wright. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the only like game of lawyer I can think of, but <laughs> I know. <laughs> Uh, um, Apollo. I choose who, Apollo from the Phoenix. Race Apollo series. just. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. That's good. So, I went old school. I went with Robo uh, Robocop. <laughs> uh, Blanca from Street Fighter Two. For, for the it, oh, energy. Okay, for energy. Smart. <laughs> smart. I like uh, for that. For Attorney General. <laughs> We're just gonna use his ass to to light up the city. No, not Attorney General. The <laughs> energy. We're still doing energy. Well, I'm choosing M. Bison for Attorney General now. So. <laughs> oh, that really made me laugh. He's like, for Attorney General? M. Bison for energy, then. Um, okay, yeah, those are good. Those are both good. I like that. I like imagining Blanca, like, literally What's lit your energy electrifying picture? the Lighting grid. Yeah. yeah, if he needs to. Mm -hmm. uh, I chose a character you guys are not familiar with, but uh, Carlac oh, okay. from Baldur's Gate 3. There is a tiefling barbarian named Carlac, and she has an infernal engine in her like is as a heart. Is that the one you're romancing? Is she I'm the one you're rom romancing? Pers personally romancing that's, the, that's a very long and difficult quest. <laughs> no, I'm not yeah. personally romancing Carlac, but I love Carlac. She is, ever since I found her, she's a staple in You my have party. a lot of video game wives that you're throwing I... <laughs> in the mix these days. <laughs> Listen, I only have a handful. <laughs> Just okay? there. Come on, let's. I've got to have my Dude, fun. If, if Jerry can't live in a world where his waifus aren't his presidential cabinet, like what world is that then? Yeah, come on. What the heck? What are, what are we doing here? Uh, Sid, thank you for no good goody for the Sid is a good choice. Well, that's it. That I think you guys did pretty good. Um, mine was the best, but 
But this is not a draft. We're not voting, and we're not doing all that. Yeah, there's no vote. <laughs> Get in the comments. But, uh, anyway, I guess that's it for the uh, for the Game Heroes podcast this Game week. Game Heroes podcast? Guys. Yeah. Cool. Once again, if you're yeah, on... We'll see everybody tomorrow. Yeah. Right. You guys will be yeah, back. The Classy President Hero. Uh, please be sure to drop us a like on YouTube. It helps immensely. Uh, and um, be sure to stop, stop by the Twitch stream sometimes. Uh, if you want to answer, want us to answer your questions on the podcast, please leave them in the YouTube comments or on Discord. Big thanks to Lego Todito for all that you do, everyone in chat, and to all of our Discord members. Um, do we want to raid somebody, or are we just going to get out of here? What are we doing? Uh, what do we got? got? Nothing on the raid. Oh, yeah, you guys are fun. Let's see. I don't have everything. Like I've got too much going on. So fourth MG with the four hundred biddies. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, dude. It was just so loud, and I wasn't. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for hanging out with us, you guys. See who's on? Yeah. The, yeah. Who's on? Well, it'll be a fun uh, week and weekend. So. Let's see. Oh, is that oh, there it is. Is it a sniff? You know what? Let's raid the Big Ben or or Three Legs. Big Ben student Gardic oh. phone with thirteen viewers. Let's bring. Or let's do Big legs. Ben, even though he's uh, he's in French. Let's just do Big Ben to throw show him some love. All right, let's start. Let's start he's raid. in French. Yeah. That's not yeah, Ben. He's French Canadian. Yeah, Big Ben. Oh uh, yeah, 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 Quebecois. Cool. All right, thanks everybody for hanging was... out. It was a fun podcast. We'll see you Bye, tomorrow. Guys. You weaseled one in, Simon. Yeah. You did. It was great. Um, we'll see y'all tomorrow I mean, me, and uh, Friday and Saturday and maybe Sunday and yeah. Steven Skull right. Sunday if I if I can get it working. Yeah. Yeah. Right now. Bye. Bye.